don't know. Well, we have Trudeau's apologies and some breaking news coming out of the CBC. Really surprising that the CBC is is actually reporting on this, but it's about the Can Sino um, vaccination deal that broke down out with China. Uh, we're gonna put the link below. Check that out. But there's a bunch of other things. Sixty-three days of no government going on, and the only thing we're hearing from the conservatives is a tweet. Yep, they tweeted. Is there anything more? Do you think can come? Check it out. Where he says and takes a strong perspective. On this edition of the Fifth Estate. Why would you have tried to do a vaccine partnership with a country that is holding two of our citizens hostage? The story of the Prime Minister's plan to produce a domestic COVID vaccine, made in Canada, but with help from a vaccine company in China and the Chinese military. I don't think we should be collaborating. Traveling on September 30th was a mistake, and I regret it. The program has run out, run about. I know there are many questions and problems uh, with the way this program has run out, run about, and I know people uh, have concerns about it. I get that. I made a mistake in not recusing myself immediately from the discussions, given uh, our family's history. And I'm sincerely sorry about not having done that. About six weeks after Justin Trudeau first mentioned a domestic Canadian COVID vaccine, the NRC signed a contract with CanSino to produce one. Much is redacted, but what isn't reveals that the agreement was to fast-track the availability of a COVID-19 vaccine in Canada for emergency pandemic use. And then there's this, acknowledgement that Kensino had been fully authorized by the Beijing Institute of Biotechnology. In other words, they were in business with the scientific research arm of the Chinese military, the People's Liberation Army. The commissioner's report this morning makes it very clear that I should have taken precautions and cleared my family vacation and dealings with the Aga Khan in advance. I'm sorry I didn't, and in the future, I will be clearing all my family vacations with the commissioner's office. But as soon as it was over, we were told that Kensino had seized the footage, taken it from our crew in China. It was released 10 days later, but then we learned that Kensino had erased half the interview. Um, a reset of where we're at. Um, there has been a concern uh, over on the opposition side that there is some sort of a cover up or some hiding uh, in documents that, uh, in redacted documents that have been submitted. And then on our government.